Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we work on the unequip and some small bug fixes. As you can see, I pick some access up and when I equip the item, the capture pawn also gets the item. When I click now on the unequip button, the item gets removed from the player and the capture reference. And there's also a small bug fix, maybe you saw it in the last tutorial. While I equipped the item, it also got spawned into the world. Today I will show you how you can fix it. Let's start by opening some blueprints. So the first one will be our AC equipment. This one. Also open the character. This one. And let's also get the equipment base widget. The first thing I want to do is to refresh the capture pawn. So we search for the function uh, refresh capture pawn. We did it in the last video. It should be somewhere here. There you can see it, refresh capture pawn after we attach. And what we want to do here is we want to get our boolean that we created is capture. We just plug this in. Get in the AC equipment and we get our player recording ref this one and from the player recording ref we won't get the spawned player get player capture ref this one so now what we want to do here is to equip the item on this player capture ref and we plug this in the faults so if we are the capture we don't want to go further and we don't want to equip again. And if we're not the capture, we want to go and say that the capture should equip the item. We can go back in here and what this does here, the normal player will get equipped. And then it goes here into the refresh capture pawn. We go in here and with this one, the same code will be going through the capture and we'll also attach it to the capture, but here at the refresh capture pawn, it will stop. So we will not go further and we will not equip. You could also add here another variable to be uh, sure if we are capture, we don't want to go further. So, so we only go further when we aren't the capture. So the capture will not check for this code. Get the item to equip and plug this in here. Okay, let's test it. Play. Pick up an X and when you press not I but T, get the left hand. You can see that we have the player with the equipped weapon. Now let's work on updating the items or the item info. For that, we go here to the right to the unequip new item. So in here, we want to check if this one is valid. Equipment reference. And if it's valid, we want to break the item data. We want to get the equipment settings and break this also. And then we want to switch on the equipment slot. Like this. And in here, we want to create some variables. So promote this to a variable and we call this left hand item. And you can disconnect this from here. And we just say here, get item. So we will get the item that's in this function, this one. And what we want to do is we want to duplicate this one and we call this right hand end item and we want to re repeat the step for all the items so let's quickly do this And we want to do the same in the equipment view. So go in here into the graph 
and let's paste this in and you can right click and create left hand hand item right hand item we can create the chest and also the bottom like this and then you can just delete it Come back into our ac equipment from here now we get the equipment ref that we checked and we get all the items get all the items but make sure that we set the items so set right hand item and do this for all of them and then connect everything like i did here and we are good to go next we go back to the wb equipment and we create a custom event and i just call this on update build church items and we will get an input of type equipment and this will be our equipment slot and before we continue here we can set this on update filtered item and we will just get the function here and actually we can just take the same output here everywhere and in each case we want to get the item the equipment slot so this will be the correct equipment slot like this go into the on update and in here we want to get our player ref again get the ac inventory and from the ac inventory get the filtered items by equipment slot and this inventory will be the inventory that we want to put into the filtered items ref so set inventory this one and this should be fixing the amount of items we have in the ui okay this updates the items inside our widget but actually i was thinking about just closing the widget when we click on an item so let's do this so when we try to equip the item and what we want to do here is we want to get the widget that's between and we want to get the uh or want to use the on close method that we created before this one so let's actually get the equipment item slot and in here we get a new variable called wb underscore equipment or no let's say filtered items like this and this will be from type wb filtered items file save expose and spawn like this and then go back to the filtered items and refresh here the creation of this and put in self with this all the equipment item slots have a reference to the filtered items and normally you want to do this with an interface so that not not every equipment item slot has a reference to the parent because it's a bit consuming but for this purpose it's completely fine and we will use this any side here we can double check if it's valid and if it's valid we want to on close this function here and what it does is pick some items up press t left hand and now when we press on an x the items get updated the equipment widget will be closed and you can now see we have two items left now let's work on the dropping. For this, we go into the third person character and we go to the equip item function and inside here we have to remove single item. And here we want to have a new key, which will be spawn item question mark. And we just simply use this here at the end. Get spawn item. Check it with a branch. And if it's true, we want to spawn the actor and if it's not true we don't want to and you also want to have the spawn item here at the bottom 
where we remove the last index. And if the spawn item is true, we want to spawn. So now we have both cases. We can save everything. And then let's test this by simply picking some axes up and press T. Click on this X. And as you can see, now we have no dropping of the X. If you have the inventory system from me, make sure that under the drop item inside the WB inventory, where we have this remove single item that you want to check here, the spawn item. You can go here and search for the name of the function and you can just say, I want to spawn an item from here. Okay, back to the BP third person character. We open the unequip item. And what we want to do here is we want to get our equipped items. We want to find the item that we want to unequip. We check in our local equipped items list if it's there or not. And if we have it, we want to add item to inventory. Because we removed the item as we equipped, that means we want to equip it again or bring it back to the inventory. Then we want to remove it from our equipment array or map and based on the type we want to reset our meshes so we get in the category and we switch on it can then close this up here and what we want to reset is for example the left hand mesh and we want to set this, the static mesh to null or to no asset at all. And later when we have more, we can also use this with the armor. And to test this, let's go into our WB equipment, no, in the filtered items view, this one. And let's get the on clicked from the unequip button, this one. Click here on the oh, on the on clicked. Then let's get our try equip item message so that we can double click here and we get fast to the blueprint interface. Name it try unequip item. And go back to the view here and now we get try unequip item message. This one. And we want to know uh, which one we want to remove or unequip. So we get in the equipment slot. Item to unequip like this. And then inside our try equip item, you can just refresh the notes. Promote this to a variable. And we will rename this to the item category so that we always know here which category of items we have inside here. Now, when we create this a widget, we want to set the item category. So go back to the WB equipment and inside here, open filtered items. We want to set that category. And we connect it here. We could also add it here to the update text and rename it, but I will just leave it as it is here. And then it should be always with the correct item category. And now we go to the BP third person character and we go to the event graph. There it is. Event try unequip item and we just say unequip this one like this i made a small mistake in here you have to actually get in here the filtered item view and use this one and not the connection from here and another small mistake i make made here uh, the remove should not be before the switch on item category because we can't switch on something that we removed before. So 
what we want to do here is we want to switch on the item category. And then after that, we want to remove. And yeah, we can just leave it as it is here like this. And let's get in the equipped items so that we have a little bit more space to work like this. And now when we compile and test it, you can see that when I press T and I press here on unequip and I remove the widget, the weapon is not on the character. What we want to do now is to do this also for the capture pawn. Like before, you can go to the refresh capture pawn and you can just copy everything, go in here and we can just plug this in and we don't want to equip an item. We want to unequip. Uh, not this one, sorry. Unequip item. So if it's capture, I made a mistake. <laughs> if it's capture, we don't want to do anything. And if it's not, so if it's normal play, we want to go to the capture and unequip. So from the player character, we unequip and then we send to the player capture also that it should unequip. Press play. Nice. And for the UI, we want to have the same code that we have in here from the AC equipment on equip new item, we can just say we want to have on unequip item. Go into equip item and let's copy and paste here everything like this. And inside here, we don't want to have this boolean, we want to have this one in here this and what we want to do is based on the equipment slot we set the item in here to nothing and same goes then for the item in the equipment ref so we set it to null also and then the new parameter here will be our selection can rename this to equipment category or something like this. Go back to the third person character, get the AC equipment and get the on unequip item. This one and the key or the equipment category will be the item to unequip. And last but not least, we go into the filtered item view, this one. And we just get here the onClose function. And then we can test it. Pick some axis up. Press T. Left hand. Equip the item. You can see we have it on the character. And then we say unequip and we have the item not anymore on the item, uh, on the character. And it also get got back to the, uh, yeah, to the selection. When we look now, we have here one, two, three, four axes. And when we unequip, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five axes. So this works also just fine. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. You can now unequip and equip items. And in the next one, we will add some more items that we can equip. So stay tuned and see you next week. Bye.